Well, a major development, NASA on Friday announced that its Mars 2020 Perseverance rover successfully conducted the first drive on Martian surface. Marking a major milestone, the six-wheeled rover travelled about 6.5 metres in 33 minutes. And as it drove, the rover's navigation cameras snapped photos of its tracks in the dirt behind it. As you can see, Perseverance landed on Mars February 18th earlier to accomplish the riskiest step to bring back rocks that could answer whether or not life ever existed on the red planet. Report that yesterday afternoon we carried out our very first drive on Mars. Go ahead and show that first picture, please. Here we're looking out the front of the rover and you can see our first tracks on Mars and this was just so amazing to see last night and uh, uh, we're really happy about this. Perseverance is the biggest, most advanced rover ever sent by NASA. It is also the ninth spacecraft that has been sent to successfully land on Mars. The car-sized plutonium-powered vehicle arrived at Jezero Crater on Mars, hitting NASA's smallest and trickiest target. The drive performed on March 4th served as a mobility test. Not only this, the location from where Perseverance began its mission on Mars has now been named as Octavia E. Butler Landing after the name of a science fiction author, Octavia E. Butler. I am honored and excited to announce that Perseverance's landing site is now called Octavia E. Butler Landing. This image is from the MassCam-B camera located on the rover's mast. It shows a flat, light-toned rock on the right side of the image on which we targeted the very first observation from SuperCam, one of the rover's instruments for analyzing the composition of rocks at the surface. And what we can see in this image uh, from the first high-resolution panorama from MassCam B are distant deposits of the Jezero Delta in the background. The rocks in the foreground may be similar to those in and around the rover's landing site, but I'd like to call attention to the rocks in the mound in the background. This is about a mile and a half away from the rover. From the landing site, which is the white dot there, we're considering two options to get to the delta, a clockwise path and a counterclockwise traverse that you can see here in blue and purple. NASA's Perseverance engineers and scientists are already planning routes for the rover to travel in order to reach the river delta that once fed Lake Jezero. However, scientists believe that if life ever flourished on Mars, it would have happened 3 billion to 4 billion years ago when water still flowed on the planet. But Perseverance, that spent seven months flying through space to reach Mars, is now all ready to spend at least two years. Scoring an ancient Martian lake bed for signs of fossilized alien microbes. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.